Please give me my hug. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, buddy. See you tomorrow. When are you coming back in the afternoon? Like, well, I'm going to see you tomorrow. When I come back, when I come back. Prepare the battleships for bad weather. No. Yeah, it's eating popcorn. I'd rather want popcorn for breakfast. I know. Mother of the year there, but it is supposed to um, rain and have some really bad wind storms. Like the wind is supposed to blow up to like 45 miles per hour. This weekend, we just put up our inflatables. And it was funny because as we were putting them up, I said, watch, it's going to like rain or the wind's going to blow really bad later. Tear them up. No, just the next day. So, so it's already starting to cloud up a lot right now, but I hope it's not too bad. Because every time, like, there's a really bad rainstorm or, like, the wind's blowing and knocks out um, my cable slash internet. And then it's, like, like, right now I am trying to finish uploading um, Fridays. Yeah, Fridays uh, vlog. I did not film Saturday. I just kind of took that time off. I felt like I needed it. So I took it because I wasn't feeling too hot at Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was, it was good. I mean, I hate that I started to feel yucky but um that, that it just happens so that's quite all right so yeah but, <laughs> excuse me yeah i felt that sneeze coming on but anyways it was pretty good just that whole i don't know thanksgiving it wasn't bad but just uh, for some reason it just wore me out just preparing for thanksgiving like it just wore me out y'all i don't know if it was just the cleaning the cooking just entertaining just I don't know. It just it just wore me out. So, yeah. Of course, Christmas will be coming up. Brody's been counting down. I forgot how many days he said there is now. He's been, like, really counting down. But, um, I don't think that one will wear me out, as, like, quite as much because we don't really plan to have any... Well, we're not going to have any family over. We're supposed to have family over on New Year's. But, um, I don't think we're really going to do anything. Um, we're right now debating whether or not to go to church. On Christmas, because our church is having a uh, morning, I do not know what time, if it's going to be like the really early service or if it's going to be the 1030, which we normally attend, um, session, uh, it's not session, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, I cannot think of the word, service, um, on our, at our church on Christmas, and I don't think we've ever had a Christmas that we've been going there fall on a Sunday, so it's pretty interesting. Um, in the past years, we've always done something like on Christmas Eve. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, it, we're kind of like, uh, I want, I want to go, I want to go and Dell's kind of like, uh, I don't want to, but even the kids were on the same page with me about they want, they want to go to church and they want to spend, you know, like what better place, you know, to be than at church on Christmas, because that is the reason that we celebrate. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to get up and we're going to go and do our service, which is like an hour and a half. And then we're going to come back and then we're just going to open our gifts then. Which I'm totally okay with because, I mean, that is the reason that we celebrate. So, as far as Christmas, though, I think that's pretty much all we've got going. So, I'm pretty excited. I hope to be able to get done with Christmas shopping here in the next week or two. And um, just kind of chillax until the rest of the holiday. And we're trying to keep the house in tip-top shape so we don't have to... You know, worry about cleaning it up all this month. We can just kind of chill out. That's my plans and my intentions. We'll see how we'll see how well that goes. Huh? <laughs> Is that your own little fort? He's done made him a couch cushion fort right in front of the fireplace because he said he was cold. Is that comfy? Yeah, must be. <laughs> Oh, crazy shenanigans. Oh, I love the kids when they're at this age. I remember the twins doing some crazy things with my cushions. I, on the other hand, just scored some really good deals for Cyber Monday for the twins. Um, they've been told um, not to watch, which they don't really watch it anyways. The only ones they watch on YouTube is like, what's it, Perfect Dude or Dude Perfect? Some kind of something. I don't know. Oh, and then this one guy that likes to put iPhones in, like, weird stuff like the other day he put one in a burrito and we were eating lunch and it kind of like I don't know just attracted me and Dale and we were like so he put the iPhone in a burrito and then he threw it off this like 
100 foot like drop and seeing if it survived or not anywho but uh they've been told not to watch them um and i'm not really worried about them watching them to be honest with it because when they're at school they don't watch the videos um and then when they're at home they're watching other stuff they don't they really honestly could not care about what's in the vlogs anywho long story short um i the twins have asked for these under armor hats they're really into under armor and to me i didn't real i, I just didn't realize it was that big of a deal to them um, but anyways, they wanted these hats where to me, I was just kind of like, they're $24.99, like $25 for hats. I was like, that's a lot for a baseball hat. Well, anyways, Under Armour sent me an email this morning talking about, oh, Cyber Deals. I was like, mm. got on there, got both of them a hat for $13.99 a piece. So score something that they really wanted. And I was able to actually save some money. So yes, um, the last, like, few little items that I'm going to get them for Christmas, they want some boots because, well, they're Southern, they like boots, and they want robes. I walk around in my robe most of the time during, like, winter and not really during summer that much, but, um, anyways, and they have now decided that they would like robes, so... And just a few little things like that that we have, uh, left to get them. I have Riley's birthday, um, presents left to get. Um, stuff like that, but I was, I was pretty excited that I was able to score that good of a deal because any, any way I can save money is like a big plus for me, and I'm sure you guys are the same way because you know having one child is expensive to buy for, but think I have four that I have to buy for, so like when I go to Dollar Tree and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get them something, you know, like the little stocking stuffers. I didn't think in my mind, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to spend 20 bucks. I didn't think in my mind, I have four children, so that's $4 just for one item. So, like, their little paintbrushes, I had $4 spent just for paintbrushes. So, I was like, whoo-wee, tell you. But they have a good amount of stock and stuffers. I think what I'm going to do now is just um, focus on getting them, like, some candy. Um, so, yeah, but so far, things are going pretty good. I'm pretty excited about the way that Christmas is looking. I'm going to try to finish up my Christmas shopping, like I said, in the next couple weeks. Um, I might try to finish it up around the 6th or something because I have a hair appointment on the 6th to get this hair looking good for Christmas. So I might try to finish it up then or the day after. I don't know, but hopefully before everybody gets all the good stuff that I want to get or I plan to get. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all know what I'm saying, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with myself that I scored a deal, okay? I'm good. It's Black Friday and the cyber stuff is paying off, y'all. Paying off. Having some lunch. I'm having my leftover turkey soup with a buttload of sour cream. Why? Because I just, I'm addicted to it. Like, hello, I'm Monica and I'm a sour cream lover. Um, anyways, so it's very basic. I just have some little red potatoes in there, some corn, some celery, some peppers, some onions, uh, some turkey. And that's basically it. I mean, it was really easy peasy, mainly because I wanted to throw it in the crock pot before I went to um, Awana's because I didn't want to have to come back and cook. And then I think the sour cream and the cheese just add a little extra kick to it. So, yeah, I have that for my lunch today because it is pretty cold outside, as you can see, with that wind. Woo! And I have my water. Um, I had my smoothie earlier, so I'm drinking my water to kind of follow up with that. And then I have a notebook here because I am going to start working on my plans for the new year, not only um, channel-wise, but life-wise and etc. To me, wises. The wind is still rip-roaring, as you guys might be able to hear and see a little bit. It's not like, you know, you can't stand, but it does blow your stuff over. So I came out here to check on my inflatables. I you know, thought you guys might get a kick. How I secured them to keep them from blowing off. Here's my Santa. Yeah. Put a dump truck on top of him to keep him from running off. Or I guess just I, sh I should say blowing off. But there's Santa. And then there's my owl over there. Just keeping them from blowing away. I mean, they're like tethered down. But you never know. 
I mean, seriously, you never know. Weston's like, let me check this out. Yeah, don't go over by there, but the wind is still blowing. Good thing I didn't plan to uh, break these leaves up this weekend or today. Huh. Just would have blown back over the yard, but it's not too bad. But it's been raining, so it's wet out here now. Great. But the sky over there still looks... Ugh. I think more bad weather is to come, to be honest with you. Oh, look at those birds up there. They say yes. More bad weather's to come. Look, that's like picture perfect, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. Anyways. So what are you eating? Power bar. You're eating a power bar? Yeah? What's it supposed to do? Give my muscles. Give you muscles? Ugh. The bar. Well, don't hit my phone. Yeah? AK, his power bar is actually one of these fruit and grain bars, by the way. <laughs> You're watching The Simpsons and Homer's eating a uh, power bar. So Riley said he needed one to make him muscles. Yeah. The kids are home too. Huh. Well, I put the spaghetti in the pan and topped it with cheese and put it in the oven. But now I'm just waiting for my TV to come back on and my internet because there is a signal problem. So my TV's out, internet's out. Makes for a pretty bum night if you ask me. And then the kids are fighting on top of that, so... <sighs> Mondays are just something special, y'all. Just something special. And about the time that I actually get around... Or hooking everything up to put a movie in, that's when it'll come back on. I was watching Fred Claus. It's supposed to be Fred Claus and then The Holiday, which I think I've only seen like a couple of times, but I'm trying to take advantage of these holiday movies that are coming on. Either, Even though I'm not too excited about the 25 days of Christmas list on Freeform, they took off like all the good ones, like Frosty and Rudolph and all of like the classics. Took off all those. It totally stinks. <sighs> but yeah. Wind's still blowing like crazy and it's raining. And the kids are still fighting. Yeah, they're still in there arguing. Help me, please. Take me away, Calgon! God our Father, God our Father, once again, once again, we would like to thank you. We would like to thank you. Amen. Amen. Okay. Here's our dinner. Just baked spaghetti, pretty much, and garlic bread. No, we try. Easy peasy. Just sprinkle some cheese on top of it. Throw it in the oven, just you. like you do lasagna. You can even go as far as putting cream cheese, but I didn't have any. I used all mine up for Thanksgiving. I put stinky feet so, on. Stinky feet, yeah. Anyway, so it's that's our dinner it. for the evening. Well, good. Just finished uh, some dessert. The uh, internet and TV are still out, so yeah, we had to watch a movie, which we watched Christmas with the Cranks on DVD. I think that's like really one of the only Christmas movies I have, other than Polar Express, but that one's a little too long. Because by the time that Christmas with the Cranks finished, it was like seven something, so hair's looking crazy. I need to do something with it tomorrow, but I guess we're just going to go to sleep and call it an early night, which is. Okay with me. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight though and see you guys bright and early for our Tuesday coffee town fun extravaganza. I didn't know there was a Michigan City, Mississippi. Me neither. Anyway, <laughs> good night and I will see you guys in the morning.